This woman with a big belly in the bar swing. The next second abdominal pain was sent her to the hospital. Doctors were very shocked. Obviously the woman was just a month pregnant, but at this time, the baby was full term. Soon to be born, they conducted a comprehensive examination of the baby and found that the growth rate of his cells was four times that of a normal person, which would also lead to his body growing faster than normal. And at the age of 10, he already had the physical characteristics of an adult. The good news is that he is normal, but the bad news is that his life expectancy is only a quarter of a normal person's. Worried that other people would look at him differently, his parents never let him go out and hired a tutor to teach him. Whenever he saw children of his age playing, Jack was very envious. After all, he was only 10 years old, full of curiosity about everything. He would watch butterflies break out of their cocoons in the garden play with his mother at home. When he wake up at night with nightmares, he would run to his parents for comfort. Recognizing Jack's inner desire to explore the outside world, the tutor approached Jack's parents and persuaded them that Jack should be allowed to receive a formal education like other children of his age. It's not fair. The parents finally agreed to let Jack go to school. On his first day of school, Jack woke up early, shaved off his beard, and accompanied by his parents, went to the school he had always wanted to go to. Upon entering the classroom, his classmates were shocked to see the big man in front of them. Jeez, he looks like my dad. The teacher warmly introduces Jack, but the size of the school's desks and chairs is just not right for him. At recess, Jack would play a game of balance, like other kids his age. In the face of female classmates' provocation, he will also be angry. A basketball rolled over, Jack picked up, would like to play with classmates. I'm not touching that thing. It's been contaminated now that he's touched it. Yeah! He just frowns in place, not knowing what to do. As the crowd dispersed, Jack let go of his hand and rubbed it vigorously on his pants, as if he had something really dirty on his hand. Can you believe it? The man who looks like he's in his 40s is actually only 10 years old. Unaccepted by his classmates, Jack hides in a pipe, eating snacks in secret, while the class teacher comforts him and chases away girls who make fun of him. At this point, the boys in the class are challenged by the senior class to a basketball game. Due to lack of players, the students have to put Jack on the field. With his adult body, Jack easily wins the game for his class. He dances around happily and becomes the center of attention and his classmates gradually accept this big man. After school, his classmate Tom found him. It turned out that Tom got into trouble at school. The principal asked his parents to come to school tonight. Tom wanted Jack to pretend to be the principal to receive his mother for the sake of friends. Jack agreed. Oh, wow. Hello, Mr. Pendle. Seeing Jack's shyness, Tom's mother took a liking to him and left her phone number for Jack to contact her when he had time. To thank Jack, Tom shared his cake with him. Jack was so happy to have a friend for the first time that he excitedly ran home and told his parents about what he had experienced at school. His parents were relieved to see Jack so happy. That day, Tom came to Jack and asked him to attend a secret assembly between the boys at night. Without waiting for his mother to say yes, Jack ran out of the house and went to the secret tree house. This is an outgoing Jack, quickly and small friends to mingle. Jack's tricks are really quite a lot. The fart into the jar and then lit. They also made a dark cuisine. Jack bravely the first to eat. Jack's parents, on the other hand, had their first night without Jack and they felt very uncomfortable. On this day, one of the girls in the class read her essay, and the girl said that she wanted to get married at 28 when she grew up. Jack was calculating 28 times for in his notebook, and it looked like he wasn't going to be able to wait until they came of age. He takes a bag of candy to his home home teacher, who, in his mind, is his favorite, and invites her to go on a date with him. As an adult, the home home teacher could not possibly say yes, so Jack left sadly, only to fall down the stairs with a sudden cramp in his heart. If a person is born with only 20 years to live, how will he spend it? Jack was sent to the hospital, found that the current health condition is not optimistic. The doctor recommended that he stay at home to recuperate, not to go to school again. Seeing the butterfly in front of the window died in the palm of his hand. Jack is very sad. His life is as short as a butterfly. He would like to go to school, want to play with people of the same age, but the reality is so cruel. He is aging in the mirror. His parents are talking about wanting a second child. Hearing that adults who are unhappy will go to get drunk. This night Jack sneaked out of the house to go to the bar. No one noticed a middle-aged man, even wearing shoes that will light up. He ate snacks in front of other people, like the adults ordered a glass of wine, but it spit out. Tom's mother appeared, sexy dressed to become the focus of the whole scene. Jack went up to say hello too, tried to use the tone of an adult to talk to her, but also learned from other people like dancing with her. But after all, 
This is the mother of his classmates. Jack panicked and tried to escape, but accidentally pissed off some punks and had a fight. Finally he was sent to the station. Luckily, Tom's mom bails him out and sends him home. When the tutor came back to Jack's home, Jack was disheveled. If he was born with only 20 years to live, what is the point of doing this? The tutor persuaded Jack. You're spectacular and his classmates also shouted at him downstairs, hoping that he could return to school soon. Early that morning, Jack packed his bag and appeared behind his parents, who understood Jack's feelings and told him not to be late. You better hurry up. You don't want to be late. When he came to school, his friend Tom was reading his essay. He hoped that when he grew up, he could be like Jack, who had the appearance of an adult, but could keep a child's heart. Children are happy because they live in the moment. But as adults, they think about what will happen in the next few years. And being happy doesn't come easy. Seven years passed, and Jack celebrated his bar mitzvah. But by now, he had a full head of gray hair. Sometimes people seem to forget that we will all leave this world someday. So keep a child's heart and face each day with optimism.